you accuse the, the second question, I believe, of caricaturing Christians. Yes. And I believe that you've committed the same crime in, uh, towards atheists. From your presentation, it seems that you're making us all out to be a bunch of uh, nihilists, kind of like the guys from The Big Lebowski. And um, in the end, I would be forced to, to say that a lot of our morals are not based on this idea of uh, sort of, you know, humanity being insignificant in the end. And this uh, accusation of speciesism is, um, you know, I don't really think that such a concept necessarily has to exist. My question to you is, um, based on, you know, my beliefs that, you know, uh, our morals are, are informed, are based on our feelings, our relationships with the people around us, our empathy for our fellow human beings, how is that less valid somehow than some belief in an absolute moral system posed by God. All right, it seems to me that the view you just expressed is the view that you said I was caricaturing atheists with, namely that our moral values are based in our feelings, our relationships with other people, things of that sort. I don't think I caricatured atheists. That, that, in fact, I, what I'm arguing is that atheists should be nihilists, not that they are nihilists. As I said to the previous question, I don't think anybody can really live like a nihilist. Even Nietzsche couldn't. But I think that the atheist should be a nihilist, given his worldview. Why? Well, because if morality is just based in feelings and relationships with other people and the way we were raised you know, by our parents and society, then it's all relative. Someone who has different feelings or raised in a different society might have a vastly different set of values and moral duties and therefore it's not objective, it's, it's purely subjective. And really it's just the result of human socio-biological conditioning. So it seems to me that the view you expressed is exactly the view that I'm saying atheists sought to hold to. Can I just have yeah, go ahead. Um, in light of that, my question is more along the lines of why is that such an unacceptable thing? In one of your YouTube videos, you were talking about yeah. a position, I think, that was uh, the difference between something being intellectually defensible and emotionally defensible. If these values and all provide us with the complete fulfillment that maybe the, the acceptance of absolute morals would provide a religious person, yeah. why are these so indefensible, so unacceptable? Yeah. Well, I think I would say two things there as to why I think it's unacceptable. First would be because it's false. That is to say, I, I'm convinced that there really are objective moral duties and values, that, it, that the Holocaust is not just something that is wrong relative to Western democratic standards, but right for the Nazis, so that if the Nazis had won World War II and everybody believed the Holocaust was good on that atheistic view, then it really would have been good. That, that to me is morally unconscionable. I think that's just false. I think there are objective moral values and duties. So that's the first reason I would say this is unacceptable. It's just false. The second reason is because it leads to a worldview which is, uh, I think, uh, unlivable. It's, it's, in, it's, it's incapable of being lived consistently and happily. Um, you, you cannot live consistently and happily as though moral values and duties are just the results of feelings and subjective impressions. You, you, you're you're going to want to say, for example, that apartheid was really wrong, that the killing fields of Cambodia were really wrong. And you can't do that if it's just based in feelings. So that, those would be the two reasons, I think, that it, it's unacceptable as it is false. That's fundamental. And then the second one would be it's unlivable.